um it, you know it's it's just the sort of thing you know like um i mean right i mean right now i mean i think you know what what change what changed probably from like 2017 so 2017 was the last time we had like a really big run right in crypto that was yeah. like that was the twenty thousand dollar run for btc and we had all these asset runs and that when we crashed it really didn't it wasn't really like spurred on by like a macro event in the regular stock market or anything it was just like our own we we crashed right that, that was normal this one was we were taking uh, like honestly m pretty much mostly everybody even including myself i mean everybody was basically feeling like we were going to hit about a hundred thousand plus before we would we would be like okay now it's like come it's, on it's, man michael saylor told me a million <laughs> <laughs> well michael saylor but i i, I can't you know, this is not no dig on michael saylor but like um i mean me, me, me and charlie always uh my business partner uh from cultivate crypto uh we we always say that um you know michael saylor still got furniture to sell for bitcoin because yeah. like he's just you know fully levered out sells i mean every time they get any cash they just buy bitcoin and stuff like that and at least now they're lowering their cost average but um yeah, they're they're pretty hog wild over there. Uh, I mean, I'm, I think one day we will hit a million. I truly, I do, hope you're right. I truly yeah. believe that on Bitcoin, but it's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. Absolutely not. No, no. I mean, it, it could very much. It could pretty much. It could take a decade for it to happen. But I do believe it could happen.